the Algebra 1 Math Practice Test for T and Ready. Question number, well, at least on this version, 22. A farmer performs an experiment to find the amount of fertilizer needed to increase crop yields. She uses different amounts of fertilizer measured in pounds per acre. She then records the yields in bushels per acre. Her, result, her results are shown in the table and graphed on the scatter plot. Now, the table is nice. It gives us some feel for it, but the scatter plot tells a much more reasonable story. Let's take a general look at the shape here. Well, if I hadn't scrolled that up on accident, there, there we go. Um, so this has the feel of a parabola, doesn't it? It goes up, there's a maximum value. So this graphically probably looks something like that. And since there's a maximum value and it goes down, this is probably negative. If we look at the answer choices, the first one, M, uh, is linear. See how this is an X? That's just going to keep going up or down forever. It's not negative, so it would just keep going up forever. That does not do that, so that's probably out. For the P, which has an exponent, this that's going to do that, so that's not really helping us. So it's this or this. So we really just have to look at the difference between the two and get a feel for, okay, which one is more likely? So the only major difference between these two choices is the y equals negative 43 and the y equals positive 43. The thing about that is if we eliminate the x, so say we set x equal to 0 here and 0 here, that would eliminate those two terms. So the story of r is really in terms of, by the way, when I set the x equal to 0, that would be the this y-axis here. So if I said the x equal to 0, it's not going this way, it's not going this way. So it's really like, where's the intercept? So I just keep drawing this down like that. Probably steeper than that, but who knows. So something like that maybe, and then down that way. So you can see it's going to cross under the 0, right? Uh, so the story of this one is y equals negative 43. This story, if I make this 0 and 0, it's y is equal to positive 43. That's the y-intercept. Well, it certainly doesn't intersect here, so it's likely going to be down here. So my answer to this question is R. Can I test this, or could I have done it another way? Of course! This is a calculator allowed section, so we can use a calculator to help us find the answer. And I'm going to clear that out and bring it over here in just one second. I'm not trying to mess. Uh, I am going to adjust the window just a little bit just to make sure that we include. This goes up to around 80, so for my, but my x, it goes from around up to 160, so my x minimum, let's just say, let's do it at negative 10 because I want to know where that um, intercept is. And then for my x max, I may pick something above this, so maybe like 200. For my y, and then let's change the scale to... This has a scale every 20, so that seems reasonable. So let's try that. For my y, it also has a scale um, around every 10, so we'll change the y scale to 10. And we'll change the y maximum all the way up somewhere around 90. And my y minimum, let's make it, let's leave it at negative 10. Why not? It doesn't matter. So I'll go back and I'll erase this. And I'm going to test my answer choices, or the one that I actually chose. Negative 0 0.009 x squared. And make sure when you put the, when it's a negative, you want to use the negative button. When it's minus, you want to use the minus. If you don't, it'll give you some weird error, or it'll mess up, depending. So just be prepared. If you see the error, that's likely what it is. So minus 43. And we'll graph it, and we'll see if we get a similar look. Yes, we do. And you'll notice we're kind of outside the zone, so it's definitely not going up here at 40. But if I go into the table, I can find out. You can see how the, the y value is shifting. Well, I can find when x is 0, y is negative 43, which is exactly what I would expect here. So a couple ways that you could have done that. You could have started by graphing. That would have been fine. Or you can just look at the nature of, okay, so this is a quadratic um, based on shape. So these first two are out, and then I just have to look, well, where's the intercept? And in this case, it's not going to be up here at plus. It's positive unless it does this 
some crazy thing, but there's no indication that it will. Um, so we're going to go with R. It's our answer to question number 22.